Welcome to another Fireside Chat with Comedy Hematite. Today we're going to talk about tradition. Um, now forget what you know from Webster. Their definition is probably a little off. I'm going to give you the real definition, which is repeating a certain act over a very specific interval of time with no discernible reason for the repetition other than the fact that you've repeated it. I mean, let, take a look at Thanksgiving. How else can you explain turkey for Thanksgiving every single year? Turkey has to be the most boring meat ever. You can deep fat fry it all you want, but when you slice it, even if eight gallons of juice flowed out of that turkey, which would be nasty, it would still taste dry. I mean, doesn't anybody else feel this way? If you sat a plate of Thanksgiving dinner, the traditional one, with the turkey and all the fixings, the first thing I would do is rip off the skin, gobble it up, no pun intended, and then eat all of the sides as I picked at the turkey, until I was finally forced to eat the turkey, just so that I could go back and get seconds of the cranberry sauce. Now, do you like the kind of relishy cranberry sauce? Because no matter who fixes that stuff, they can be as thorough as they want, you always get a fucking stem in that shit. I prefer my cranberry sauce to be jellied and in the shape of a can. And I prefer that you don't cut it before it gets to me, because you always slice it too thin. And plus, I like to see what the can looks like from the inside. Now, what about green bean casserole? Where did that even come from? I mean, I'm sure the pilgrims probably had green beans, but unless the Indians were hiding a stockpile of fried onions before we completely slaughtered them with our guns and sexy diseases, then I know we didn't have those for Thanksgiving on the first one. So I don't even know where that came from, and it's all right, but it's just kind of weird. No, so for Thanksgiving, we bunk tradition. The only tradition we keep is just shoveling heaping, heaping piles of food into our gaping maws. Now let's talk about Christmas real quick. I think the Christmas tree is a beautiful tradition. I love to see the string of lights around a tree, unless they're multicolored, put them down. But I don't get ornaments at all. Like, most of them just look like toys that you've screwed a hook into and then slapped a string on it to hang it on the tree. It doesn't even make sense. I kind of get the balls a little bit, but I still think they look kind of stupid. Besides, if you really want balls on your Christmas tree, I'm sure you've got a friend or family member who would be willing to oblige if you got them drunk enough. You may even have a friend or family member who would do it sober. I know I do. So this year, in Breaking with Tradition once again, we've opted instead of a tree to go with the sparkling peacock. Now, this is probably the gayest thing I've ever done. And before you say, well, having sex with another guy is the gayest thing you've probably ever done, there are straight men in gay porn, so technically, this is the gayest thing I've ever done. Well, I've got to go. I've got to tailor a suit. It's a three-piece suit with coattails. The coattails do have peacock feathers on them. I'm trying to match our glorious Christmas peacock this year. And if that were true, then that would be the gayest thing that I've ever done.